What can I do for you? Been a lot of that lately, but they always move. I'll take it, but I've already got too many. Thanks for your help. What am I? Invisible? Nice again. bother you for a minute of your time all right nice to see you again sir did you change your mind about donating by any chance we could really use your support to improve the lives of our veterans and their families There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, 
Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. All right, let's go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. 
Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. So let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. What are you doing? I just hope you're right. This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Can't be far. Let's keep going. You hear something? Hold on. Quiet. to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. We get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Hope Dutch is enjoying his brandy and cigars.
hide and cover, and we'll bust the door in. You boys found my pappy's watching! You should have played me to run. Let's bail, boys. This ain't working. Look out! They're making a run for it. Careful! Ah. Lee, God, careful! They're leading us out in the open. Can't see worth the damn. We sure picked the right time for it. You picked the right place to die, all right? Reckon this is gonna wake a few people up? No doubt. around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Lock. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. We best stick to the side.
Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Back to Dutch. Get this done. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said. You took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Me. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Coming past. Uh-huh. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teached me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? 
They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Ay, ay, 
no se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Cuando Welcome salí back, de Jack. Hermosillo, hey. lágrimas vine llorando. Y con la flor del trompillo, me venía consolando. Thanks, Father. Can I play Yo now? soy como oh, el yeah. coyotito, well done, que yeah. los revuelco y los dejo. Y me voy al trotecito, mirando por debajo. Se cayó el vino verde, donde habitan los pichones. Ya con el que andaba ausente, ahora verán los cabrones. Ay, ya se secó el jacalito. Donde colgaba mi espada, pa' que es tanto laberinto. Tahiti, si dear boy, Tahiti. If you say so, <laughs> mangoes, maidens, paradise, Ay. an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Donde vamos a las tunas. Did I ever tell you boys about the time I was hanged? Oh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. All right, all right. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <gasps> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Come on. Let's leave him play a minute. All right, one second. I'm gonna Welcome home, little Jack. My mistress is in the same. Okay, 
Okay, thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. Cool, cool. Suit yourself, Dan. Hey there. You, Charles? I'd apologize, but don't feel like it. Just back off, will you? Well, hello, Bill. Bill! Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. What'd I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan, my friends, my loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place, and we are gonna find our own paradise, our own heaven. Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, the real new world. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has handed out its peasants vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Free. Yes, we are, Dutch. That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. See, Hefe. All day long on the prairies I ride. Not even a dog to trot by my side. <laughs> Fire I kindle hey. with cow chips around. Coffee I pour out the ground. I wash in a pool and I wipe on the 
sack. I carry my wardrobe all on my back. For want of an oven, I cook bread in the pot. And I sleep on the ground for want of a cot. My ceilings are sky. You fellas certainly know how to have fun, Mr. Arthur. Shiny white sure. ass. My books if are I guns, no sermons to stone, you'd probably kill me by now. You ever think of that? We'd have both died at Six Points Cabin. Yes, that's true. Oh, brother, I am really drunk. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. Well, good talking to you. Papers call for our gangs of eyes. Says we're no good thieves. Go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. Having fun, Susan? Oh, you know me, Arthur. I always like a good party. Yep. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Oh, well, fine then, I guess. folks to help them see. We are failing. Our base is 
souls The days of elk and buffalo and beaver traps Oh, the days of elk and buffalo feels my day To know those days are past and gone Fought against the Redskins, we rallied in the plain. We fought them in the mountaintop and fought him down again. Those fighting days are over. The Indian yelled his arms. No more along the border. He sends for sweet sounds. But we found great joy, our comrades, to hear and Bright homes for gentle ones, and now our west. How have you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, River. Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. <laughs> maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling.
And how are you? I'm fine. What's going on? Oh, it's you. What? Do we have to go away again? What game are you playing here?
My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. It seems Jamie may have escaped from the clutches of the Chelonians. So perhaps it was for the best that you didn't go causing trouble on my behalf. Oh, Arthur, you're very wise. I, on the other hand, have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I am afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I hate so to ask, but I have nobody else. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I am all alone, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. So are you doing the right thing by that boy now? I'm looking out for him, same as we all are. He even looks like you, John. Morning, Arthur. So you lurk there, Javier. Oh, me siento como muerto. Morning to you. Got through some whiskey last night. Uh. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. Yeah, okay.
work. There she is. Oh, lovely morning. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. <sighs> If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. 
Oh, yes. What do they want with her, anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her and Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear, half of you would just rot your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Well, get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducements. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said... You said your last... Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's mm -mm. get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard! <sighs> Don't let him get away! Uh. 
Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Go on! Rope that bastard! Make sure you tie him up real good. Oh, shit. Make these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. This could get bumpy. <laughs> That bitch owes me! Ugh. You're coming with me! Get these ropes off of me right now! Ugh. Comfortable enough for you? Have the first idea what you're getting. Then too, I'm Anthony Foreman. Oh, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. on the ground. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat.
own. Finish the bastard off! You know my choice. Sadly, I agree with you. Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you! Yeah.
Okay. Yep. Look out, mister. Yeah? Hey, Miss, good day to you. Will you give me some money? Don't make no damn sense. How's a man supposed to get Never gonna get the hang of this. Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, 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 I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But uh, well uh. Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now.
Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh... Exhumation. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard! Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, uh. bastard! Uh. Uh. Let's go, Mr. Still think you're done? Ah, uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. Your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. <laughs> well, damn this!
Partner? How do you do, sir? You looking at that poster? They're an ugly old thing, aren't they? How you doing? Fine and dandy. I happen to know that feller is farming the swamp. We're trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen them coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. I thought I recognized you. Hello again. If you get my meat. Don't surprise me in the least. Hey, boy. Come here. You okay, boy? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault to Darky White. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll right. tall you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty-faced streak of piss! Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! You want to ride? 
Raiders fought tooth and nail for this territory, and here's you just strolling through. <laughs> I've seen folk like you before, always the first to run screaming. I ain't here to cause trouble. Round here's a dozen towns folk offer to bury you just to keep my hands clean. Running from the side of free men. Got some sense after all. Whoa. Hey, good looking horse there. I'm happy to stable that for you. No papers, huh? Well, I can't get the full price on account of that might be stolen. Nice. You only live once, lest you're a cat. Holler if you need any of them. We'll get one saddled up. We did nothing wrong. Whoever put you two together was planning long and hard to ruin my day. I'll find it. Hell, on a Friday night, I lose half of everything I own. Take care of that nag. Come back and see. Hello? 
Hello there. That horse doing all right? If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Let's get them switched out then. Bring that horse back if you need anything. Ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy. Please let him in. He's been trying for hours. 
horrors. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. <laughs> I can't do it, Daddy. He's spent. Let him rest. My son ain't no quitter. Do it again, boy. Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. No! I'm who you want. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't. Don't leave us, Pop. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? Wanna take me? Take me. Leave my daddy alone. Billy, leave it. Take me away. Or <laughs> this is bullcrap. Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. I love you, Daddy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. Captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. Oh. That son of a bitch. Come back, you little snake. Oh. What was the point in all that? Could have got your neck there. broke. Let him go Premature. Back to his family. Well, you're gonna have trouble with us. I think that's all your friends, ain't it? You shouldn't have done that. Ugh. And now look what's happened. Dead because of you. Damn it. I knew you was being quiet. Oh. 
Hold on. Won't be long to we're in roads. This is Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Found this fella on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad? They worse than worse. You always was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie <laughs> killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Morning. Hey, morning, partner. How's your time? He's fine. Just fine. Have a fine day. Partner? Dang fog. Fog never hurt no one. Your face looks familiar. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, maybe I was mistaken. Don't mind me. Bye now. Good morning. 